Thank you for joining us. No problem. Appreciate it uh, with the Chat TV here. And uh, listen, for many of us that don't really, for the residents that don't know about W5, can you tell us a bit about the show and you know what you guys sort of cover? Uh, CTV W5, it's been uh, around for over 50 years. In fact, it's the longest running investigative magazine program in North America. Uh, everyone sort of 60 minutes. Well, yes. uh, we've been around even longer than them. And uh, what we do is uh, long form documentary investigative pieces. Uh, everything from, you know, hard, hard investigations, uh, medical, uh, uh, controversial uh, situations with people but uh, all the way to profiles on celebrities and athletes and so it covers the gamut of of what you should uh, would enjoy and yeah. you should watch it always <laughs> uh, it's on uh, on Saturdays it repeats on Sundays CTV and so it's a it's a great show it's uh, an hour long and uh, usually the documentaries run between uh, 30 minutes to uh, the full hour. Oh, good. Um, well, let's get to the meet here. Uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys decided to co come to Chetwin specifically. Well, we came here because uh, we're looking at the plight of the, the caribou. And so mm -hmm. we know that uh, there's been a lot of work being done uh, in this community, uh, the First Nations communities of the provincial government, the federal government, uh, looking at uh, uh, the decline of the, the caribou numbers, uh, the potential extinction of this uh, uh, quadruped, one of the, the oldest in, on the planet, and so, and I mean, it's not just on our dime. It's it's a real thing. It's in in nature, and so uh, we're looking at the efforts to, to save it, uh, and the the impact on what losing an animal like that would be on the the ecosystem. Yeah, and I mean, here in um, in our town, it's just such a complex issue, especially because it has different factors that affect it. You know, we have economical, ecological, environmental factors that run with it. Are there any, uh, perhaps, factors that, um, through your research that you guys have found, that are not being brought to light, or are you guys focusing on anything specific? Well, we're looking at all of the factors. I mean, we're truly, I mean, to tell a balanced story, to tell a story that reflects what's going on. It means talking about the sawmill here in Chetwin. It means talking about you know, mining industry. It means talking about you know people's mortgages. Mm -hmm. uh, it also means talking about the efforts to save the animal. And so the balancing of that is what what we're looking into. And so uh, it's it's a full full reach story. It's meant to to not just focus on one, we're not painting one side as a good side or a bad side, it's truly uh, looking at both sides and all the sides of this very complex issue and trying to understand uh, what's going into it, uh, the amount of money that's being pumped into saving these animals. Uh, you talk to people, nobody wants to see them go extinct no matter what town they're from or, or what band they're with and so um, all of those factors coming together and telling a story that, that I think the rest of the country needs to know about, they should know about. It's got information that even if caribou aren't in your community, it will be yeah. interesting. You guys have spoken to some people in the community so far, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Have you heard any sort of like overarching or sort of um, theme when people talk to you guys about you know what their thoughts are on the issue? The theme is that they'd like to see the caribou saved. I mean, without a doubt, I haven't met one person uh, who says uh, the caribou shouldn't exist. I mean, coexist is the what is human nature, and so uh, so that no, it's it's been uh, completely. If I would did a poll, it was a hundred percent that people would like to see the animal exist. Hundred percent. Good, good. And uh, last question: uh, You guys are doing um, this town hall meeting here. Are you guys doing any other ones uh, in the piece or anything like that? This one is the one we're, only one we're doing. And so we uh, put out a call uh, several weeks ago to invite anyone who wanted to come and mm -hmm. have their voices heard and speak to, to this issue. It's a way for us to get a feeling from, from people in the community that don't otherwise have a voice. And so, you know, we're set up with multiple cameras. We give you all the time you need and come and speak your piece. I think a lot of people are coming to this, though. They'd like to know more themselves because mm -hmm. they don't feel that they're getting enough information. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, exactly. And that's part of the reason why we're trying to do as much coverage as possible. But thank you for talking to us. Appreciate yeah, my it. My pleasure. Cheers.